$5,000 prize they're giving away to anyone who could beat the champ tonight. $5,000? Tell him to make the check out to Woody Woodpecker, bub. I could beat the chump blindfolded, standing on one leg, with both hands behind my back. Then let the wrestling begin! The Grand Elena versus anyone! And here comes our first challenger now. Let's hear it for Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> and now, world champion, the Granulator. <laughs> hey, uh, don't I know you? <laughs> nice trick, bub. Licorice ropes, huh? I won't even hit you. Just run into my fist. <laughs> oh, look, a hangnail. <laughs> and there's the bell for the start of the first round. Woody Woodpecker voices the granulator. <laughs> Woody could be down for the count, ladies and gents. Wait, what's this? The granulator is making woodpecker pancakes. Ow! One, two, three, you! Let me back in. I get him right where I want him. Sorry, one shot per contender. Who's our next challenger? Okay, so maybe wrestling's not all fake. But you know, just the right gimmick. I bet I can psych this guy out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the next contender, hailing from the moors of Scotland, let's give it up for the Scottish Scarecrow. Well, I don't know any Scottish Scarecrow. <laughs> oh, you have embarrassed me and me tartan. Prepare to suffer the consequences. <laughs> it's time for me patented cable toss takedown. He's got him on the left, on the right, on the left. What a wrestler! Didn't you see? The granulator couldn't even get out of the way of me lumber and caber toss, no, could he? No! He's slow! Whoa. One, two, three, you're out! Okay, okay, he's big, he's bad. But I bet I can still beat him with pure woodpecker speed. The next contender, welcome the Shah from afar! How did you do that? Russian ballet training. Allow me to demonstrate. And lift like so. Ah, who is champ now, my little comrade? Help, help, help. Oh, what a turn of events. The blinding speed of the Tsar has... Wait, don't count the granulator out just yet. My word, ladies and gentlemen, it's the match to end all matches. It looks like the granulator versus 
<laughs> Mama? Stand up straight, Sonny. Everybody's looking. This is totally unheard of. Will the granulator's mama put him down for the count? You sit right here where it's safe, Mama. Oh, my. Are you sure it's safe, Sonny? I've heard about so many folding chair accidents lately. <laughs> mama? <laughs> mama, you're right. That chair could have taken you out. Oops. Uh, be a good boy and pick up my pocketbook, dear. <laughs> Mama, I gotta go wrestle. <sighs> Why didn't I think of it before? Uh, Sonny boy, you listen to your mama. You need some rest. This is unheard of. The granulator's mom is making the champ take a nap. But mama... Uh-uh-uh. No buts. Down you go. Now close your eyes. rock a by wrestler down on the mat. Count the little sheep with me. One. Two. Three. And you're out. The granulator has gone down in defeat. Now I want you all to leave quietly so Sunny Boy doesn't wake up. <laughs> How come I always get the hard jobs? I cook for you, I clean for you, I, I clip your nose as a lot. That's because I am the boss around here, and you are the boss around E. Well, you're not the only one with big dreams and perspirations, you know. Whitey! Okay, okay. Look, I'll give you a shot, Tweaky. Now, this is the con that's finally gonna get us out of this icebox. We find some beginners and charge them big dough to teach them how to ski. Then we take them up to the top of the expert slope. Quick like an avalanche, you and me then jump back into the gondola for a clean getaway to warmer climates, leaving them stranded by our poifix snow job. All right, here come some suckers. I mean skiers now. Hello, hello. I am Buzz Buzzard, the famous ski instructor for the children at prices any woodpecker can afford. How much can you afford? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Take lessons, please. Buzz Buzzard Ski School personally guarantees that skiing will become a second language to these kids. They'll learn to say words like slalom. And uh, when my snow pants ride up, they chafe things. Hmm, I don't know. We provide souvenir pictures, safety lessons, hop on a slope experience, and hands-on training. And... Okay, okay, you're twisting my arm. The kids will leave you alone all day so you can ski by yourself a lot. Oh, boy, it's a deal. Wait, the dough. Uh, I mean, uh, wait, wait, the $500. I'll pay you after I see how well they ski. You were supposed to get the money up front. Now we gotta teach these little boys how to ski or we don't get paid. Relax, boss. How tough could it be? How tough could it be? We don't know how to ski! I'm telling you, boss, if we give them everything I promise and teach them to ski just a little bit, we'll make all our dough. Mr. Buzzard, what's this rope for? Smile, everybody. Souvenir picture. Please! <laughs> Souvenir pictures, check. <laughs> and be sure you never do that with your face. We won't, Mr. Tweaky. Good. Safety lesson? Check. Now, where is Tweaky and them little boys? <laughs> if those little boys get hoit, we'll never get our dough! <laughs> Top 
for a slope experience? Check. Mr. Buzzer, you're one gnarly pro. Hands-on instruction, check. Why do they call it cross-country skiing, Mr. Buzzer? Why don't you ask him? Oh, uh, cross-country? Uh, because he's cross and uh, we's in the country. Let's go, I'll catch you. Let's go. Awesome, I'm in front. <laughs> hey, I wonder which way we're supposed to go. Let's make a lookout. You know, boss, this is a lot easier than I first thought. That's because you're on my skis, Nedwit! All right, that does it, Tweaky. I'm taking charge of this here con again. And I say we quit. Just go back to the lodge where it's warm and safe and... Uh... Oh, Mr. Buzzard, where are you? And there are no little woodpeckers to drive us crazy. Oh, but we can't ski. Who's skiing? Last one down's a rotten egg. A rotten egg. A rotten egg. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a rotten egg. Ah! All right. Sounds like they're that way. Boss, we're gonna smush ourselves. Quit complaining. We got rid of them little wooden heads, didn't we? Right on your tail, Mr. Buzzard! That's it. No more, Mr. Nice Frenchman. They are indestructible. you guys for teaching the kids. I saw them out maneuver that avalanche. Yeah, that was cool. Can we sign up for more lessons? We want to ski with you guys all winter. They're the best. Yeah. Oh, Can we please? Please, 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 please. Uh, No, no, no! Keep them away from me. Twiggy, you got some explaining to do. Well, Mr. Wilson, your chart calls for plenty of rest, neck rubs, and three hot meals a day. Boy, oh boy, what a setup. Free food, a TV, and round the clock care. Hmm, suddenly I don't feel so well. Dr. Woody prescribes bed rest, big meals, and hours of TV. <laughs> oh, nurse. Oh, thanks for coming. I... I'm head nurse Meanie. Uh, well, 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 my head's fine. I don't need a head nurse. I need the neck rub nurse from next door. Uh, 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 your chart says you're to get lots of rest. I don't feel like resting anymore. Good! Then I'll just have to tire you out with some old-fashioned exercise. You know, nothing relaxes me before bedtime like weightlifting. <laughs> now you try. Oh, my. You should never lift weights when you're that sleepy. Ugh. This isn't going like I planned. Your chart calls for big meals. Hot 
Diggity dog, bring on the cow, Nurse Frau. I made you extra large portions of today's special. Ta-da! Bran muffins, bran salad, and for dessert, a bran souffle. Yeah. I mean, yum, yum. Healthy food makes a healthy body. I'm gonna watch you eat every bite. Lucky me. Yum. Oops, your chart fell. Hmm, I don't remember that statue. Must be a new interior decorator on this ward. Oh, and don't worry, there's lots more bran left over for dinner. Easy, big fella. I know we didn't eat, but we still got TV. The identity of the thief is none other than... Hey! What's the big idea? There's a sicker patient in room 302 who needs this TV. Sorry, but it's hospital policy. Oh, yeah? So I'm not sick enough, eh? We'll see about that. than the guy with the TV. Oh! Well, you're covered in sweat. Oh! <gasps> and chicken pox! <laughs> you're burning up! A hot water bottle? Aha! So you've been faking! <laughs> what do you know? I'm cured. You'll answer to the hospital administrator for this! Code red, code blue, I'm out of here. Stop that. Woo-hoo! Coming through. Come back, you freeloader! Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -uh. Sleeping on the job, are we, head nurse? <laughs> <laughs> Find Nurse Meany, Doctor. She wants me to see her patient. Ah, phooey. I gotta find a way to get past the head honcho. Bingo. Mm-hmm. The worst case of dizzy smack you silly itis I've ever seen. Luckily, it's not serious. Come and go, emergency called red. Meany on a gurney. Hey, that worked pretty well. Yeah. Got ya, doctor. Cancel my appointments, nurse. This is my golf day. Come back here, you little milk crackers, vulture! Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, sir. You young folk, always in a hurry. In my day, we respected our elders. I made it. I'm out. Again, woodpecker? I'll give you a free loader to me you'll never forget. Eh. <laughs> nice going, laughing boy. Oh no, it can't be. Look what I found, ma'am. Another chicken pox case. This could be very serious. You've done a fine job getting him here. But you look tired. Take the rest of the day off. Whoopee! Yeah! All right! <laughs> oh, I mean, th thank you, ma'am. Wow! Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll 
be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
trap to capture that boy and take his wallet once and for all time. I'm way too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> See that big X? That's where I buried the dynamite. <laughs> And when the woodpecker gets there, I let him have it a lot. Oh, I got it, boss. Hey, woodpecker, this here town ain't big enough for the both of us. I thought exactly, one-eyed Jack. You ain't exactly the shiniest lure in the tackle box, are you, Woodpecker? Now, Tweaky! <laughs> nice job, Woodpecker. We've been after these two for a long time. I guess it's true what they say, officer. Time doesn't pay. <laughs> Car chase had more twists than a mutated pretzel. Oh, being a detective would be so exciting. Now you're taking a fall, little lady. The clues tell me the real killer is someone with huge ears. <laughs> a long nose. <laughs> and he's prone to drooling. Aha! Uh -huh. The perp was under my nose the whole time. You're taking the fall. A bell went off, and I knew there was no way this pooch was the pilferer. Because for a canine, he's actually about a K2. I opened the door to a guy who looked like he'd just been hit by a truck full of handsome. Pardon me, ma'am. Do you want a vacuum cleaner? He was no slouch in the sweet talk department, either. A vacuum? Uh, sure, I have one, but it's in the shop. Sorry to bother you, then. Say, are you part of the Neighborhood Patrol Program? Uh, yeah. Some nut job's been stealing vacuum cleaners in the area. Oh. I could help get the word out. Uh, leave it to the professionals, ma'am. I was in the mood to return videos without rewinding them. Drink milk right out of the carton a day after the expiration date. Oh. It took some convincing. But Chandler saw the light. <laughs> Winnie P.I. was on the job. First thing I did was plaster the town with flyers. Deputy Dizzy, go to the other side of town. I'll whistle if I need backup. <laughs> now, to find out how this vacuum cleaner crook's mind worked. This crazy woodpecker was nosing into my business. She made me want to scream louder than a yodeler in tight underwear. I told Chandler the best P.I.s always nose around the scene of the crime. We're here to ask you about your stolen vacuum cleaner, ma'am. I'll have this, Red. Get a clue. 10-4, Chandler. I'm on it like gum on a sidewalk. Don't mind the mess. I'm dusting for clues. <laughs> I figured I'd dust for prints. It's a dirty job. Mostly because of the dirt. Hear me that. Go secure the crime scene. My partner was feeling the pressure. We needed a break worse than an out-of-work orthopedic surgeon. Suddenly, I had what might be a clue. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a footprint. By the looks of things, the crook was either an enormous centipede with hundreds of feet, or a man who walked with two shoes on. I decided to trace his every move. What we had here was a sweet-toothed vacuum cleaner thief 
with size eight W's. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hmm. When in doubt, improvise. Let's have a look at the closet where you kept the missing vacuum. Street. Give me that. So, with my partner out on the mend, I was left alone for a stakeout. I found the perfect bait. The Turbo Back 200 on a Laura beef. Wasn't at your house for any neighborhood patrol. I was casing your joint red to steal your vacuum. But the neighborhood patrol posters. I was taking them down. But you got some cockamamie idea. I was the law. <gasps> Who are you? I own a cleaning service. Business was so bad, I figured. If you steal all the vacuums in town, business will skyrocket. But then you had to stick your nosy beak into things. I want you to know, mister, whatever you're thinking, you can just forget, because you're taking the fall. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this Chandler character was slicker than the shine on a freshly licked lollipop. But we stuck to the case like glue and got our man. The streets were safe once more for vacuum cleaners everywhere. Winnie P.I. and Deputy Dizzy were on the job. <laughs> Woohoo! Today's the day I get my latest installment from the Golden Gizmo Club. I wonder what it's gonna be. Hmm. <laughs> An oil dowser? Just point and follow. Your oil dowsing gizmo will find oil anywhere. I'm gonna be ready. It's Wally, coming through! Down, boy! Hi, Wally. What are you doing? It's not me, Wally. It's my dowser. It finds oil. See? Yeah, sure. My motor oil, you crazy food packer. Now take your silly stick and... Hey! <laughs> Oh, yoink. 
Winky Doinky. Not my Swedish cooking oil. We gotta get out of here, man. We're covered in oil. <laughs> What's it doing? It's looking for more oil. And when it finds some real Texas crude, I'm going to be rolling in dough. Ooh, it's for that kind of oil. Let me add that stick. It's mine. <laughs> it's going after the cod liver oil. Come back. Taxi. Follow that stick. A deal with you. Yeah, what kind of sneaky woodpecker deal is this? Nothing sneaky. Tell you what I'm gonna do. You help me get that Thouser, and we'll split everything 50 50. Hmm. Okay. It's a deal. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Come here, my little dowsing stick. Look what Uncle Wally's got for you. Oof. Don't worry, Wally. You'll be packed and ready to go in no time. See ya. <laughs> what kind of partner cans his other partner? Mr. Greedy Pants. What's mine is yours. And yours is mine. <laughs> Wally, look! Wally, there's oil down there! Oh, 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 oh. There must be oil on my property. Bub. Ten feet by mm, twenty yards. By Yingo, this satellite proves it. The oil is definitely on my property. I'll dig on my side, and you can dig on yours. Oh, haven't I just had enough of your shenanigans? Hit something, yeah? Yeah. Stand back. Yeah! <laughs> Oil. Oh, I'm Lord. rich, man. I'm going to rich, buy rich, a rich. pony. But uh... arrest them both. What did we do? Oh, not much. You just busted into my company's oil pipeline, blew out about a truckload of oil, creating an environmental hazard. Is that enough? This is all your fault, Woodpecker. My then fault? I get Don't my give me that. Gun. Gun. You to <laughs> Package for 37255576. Oh, boy. It's from the Golden Gizmo Club, Wally. How to turn rocks into gold. Oh, no, you don't. Haven't you learned your lesson? Hey, 
against adults who are too hard on them. Huh? Meet little Johnny Boom Boom, who had to go to military school. Now, every time he's bad, little Johnny Boom Boom gets sent off to his room room. Oh, 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 oh. they could come home worse than when I sent them. I gotta get those kids out of there. All right, my little heroes. <laughs> you got lookout duty. Now keep an eye out for infiltrators. If anybody comes in, you stop them. Be on your guard. You'll never know when you're being tested. Wow. This place is excellent. They must be out on maneuvers. What would great, great Uncle Colonel Mac Pecker do in this situation? He'd peck his way to the front lines. Battle helmet. <laughs> Camouflage. Transportation. <laughs> Military accessories ready. Commencing operation infiltration. <laughs> Uh-oh. Incoming bogey at 3 o'clock. Engage missile firing systems. Fire! One! <laughs> now, let's capture the infobator. Oh boy, this place is hardcore. But I'm a mech pecker. And there isn't an army alive that can stop that beak. There he is, using the old stilts on the water trick. Hey, Jaws, what's the matter? Snap away all you want. Can't get me. Turn my bombs away! Huh? Ah! Come on, feet! We're almost there!
He's dug in near the barracks now. This'll flush him into the open. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Stinkweed. Stinkweed. Skunk. Skunk. Ready? Fire! <laughs> Stink bomb! Target's on the move! Move it out! Battle to the metal! They'll never take me. Soldiers, now let's see what we've got here. Ah, right. Watch out. Where are my kids, Mister Uncle Woody? Soldiers, you know this infiltrator? Sure, he's our Uncle Woody. What are you doing here? I've come to take you home. I uh need bowling partners. Yeah, take us home. But we love it here, Uncle Woody. You do? Yeah, we want to stay. And you're welcome to stay with them, soldier. Because tomorrow is Relatives Reconnaissance Day. How about huh? huh? Why, these little warriors get to hunt you down and capture you. <laughs> Doesn't that sound, uh, hey! <laughs> Would you look at that? He can't wait to get started. First squad, after him! Yes, sir! <laughs> Sports fans, and welcome to the opening of the Antarctic Games, sponsored by Mama Dulap's Old Fashioned Chocolate. The chocolate preferred by four out of five hungry penguins. Mama Dulap invites you to join us at the extreme sporting event of the century. We guarantee plenty of excitement, food, thrills, food, and most of all, food. Tickets go on sale, well, right now. Mm-mm. I just love being the official head of security for these here Antarctic Games. I'm sworn to keep all riffraff off of these premises. Hmm. What have we here? It looks like I've corralled me a penguin of the gate-crashing persuasion. Well, I'm escorting you from the premises. Guard rule number one. Always be leery of the tuxedo wearers. Whoa! Yeah. Hmm. This here ice is mighty cold on the lower lumbar. Wee, 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 wee. You pull over now so as I can under arrest you. It looks like we have a couple of late entries in the ice skating competition, ladies and gentlemen. What style that big fella has. What a left hook that little fella has. <laughs> now I got you, you little... Ow! That smart. <laughs> that smart Alec bird is definitely skating on your proverbial thin ice. <laughs> but there ain't a penguin alive who can outsmart a minimum wage security officer. Except maybe this one. What an amazing performance! We have a new gold medal winner! And now, in the Mama Dulap's Antarctic Games tradition, the winner of every event gets a meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> Mm. 
No gate crasher is gonna be outsmarting me. Hmm. Needs a tad more salt. Hold on one ice picking minute. This is the law of talking. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but water will not hurt me. <gasps> Unless it has been modified to solid form. Hold it where you are. There ain't a gate crasher alive who can get away from me. What style? What a landing! That'll probably cause what we in the guard business call a boo-boo. You know what? My boo-boo smarts. What an amazing run! This surprise contestant has won his second event of the game. And he's wasting no time heading to the table of champions to celebrate. All right, gate crasher, hand over that drumstick. Ouch! <laughs> Chili Willie has come out of nowhere to take the lead in the 100 mile ice gliding race. All right, you pull over. Huh? <laughs> that there is the oldest trick in the book. Yep, sometimes it takes a while, but I always prove I'm twice as smart as everyone says I think I am. You know, you don't see these great white polar sharks very often. We're 50 miles into the race, and Chili's still in first place. We're less than 100 yards from the finish line, and it's still anyone's race. When I catch this law-breaking icebreaker, he's going to chill in the cooler for a long while. This is what we in the business call a hot pursuit. They don't get any hotter than this. Amazing! Chili has won three gold medals in one day. And now he's enjoying his third meal at the Table of Champions. I did my job. I may be tired, but it's a good kind of tired. Well, the Antarctic Games may be over, but you can enjoy Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate all year long. Remember, it's a gold medal treat. <laughs> Uncle Volley! Uncle Volley! Uncle Volley! I want the Zag Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip. Can I have it, yeah? Oh, Willie, wouldn't you rather have a keen stamp collection like your uncle, hmm? Oh... No! I want the Zag Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip! We want to get the Zag Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip! Can we have it, huh? Please, it'll keep us busy while you nap. <laughs> all right, all right, but then I get a nap. Do you have the Zack Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip? Do you have the Zack Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip? Do you have the Zack Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Our toys are in the toy department. According to my computer, we only have one Zack Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip left in stock. Then I guess it's mine. I have my value Yopper Club card. Yeah? Well, I've got two of a kind. That beats your hand. The toy's mine. The toy is mine. Oh, yeah? Well, I say, may the best uncle win. Oh. 
Uh, wait a minute. That's not fair. I was here first. Yeah, yeah come, come on, Uncle Woody. Go, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 at last, my Swedish woodworking will come in handy. Perfect! A store directory. Hmm, let's see. You are here. And you're gonna stay here, too. By Ingo. Hi, Yingo. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be the best uncle. <laughs> what goes up must come down. Bye bye. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Hey! Enough with the up and down! Your little wooden heads have more fun with this than a silly old doll. I'll trade you. Ah, pogo sticks don't have laser eye beams. <laughs> hey! Ah, ah, ah. Little Billy's gonna be as happy as a podgy Swedish banker on deposit day. Oh, Wally, wouldn't your nephew rather have a neat basketball? It doesn't have boomerang fists. <laughs> buy Sweden, and I want to buy it now. As a value shopper, it's all yours. Yes! Zack Zobar is mine! <laughs> the yig is up, Mr. Smarty Feathers. I need that toy. Boydy, boydy, I got the toy. Nap time's over. One toy coming up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'd like to buy this and use my valued yopper card so I can get my bonus points. I'm saving them up for a fjord skimmer. Don't worry, sir. I'll bag it for you right now. You, you cheater! That's mine! <laughs> Oh. Uh, hey, hey, look, Willy, I got you the, the invisible torso, Zobar Zaki. Uh, look, kids, it's the battle damage Zack Zobar with special fall-off arms and short-circuit eye beams. No, it isn't. 
You guys broke it. Besides, the new cool toy is the Germatron Super Multi Mega Action Racer with lightning lasers. Oh, can I have one, Uncle? Can I? Can I? Yeah, can we have one, Uncle Woody? Can we? Can we? I'm afraid we only have one in stock. Oh, my. And we're closing in two minutes. Go, Uncle Woody! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>